This is my brother, Gabriel Mitchell. If I'm going to be crazy and everybody's telling me I'm crazy, then I want to be really good at it. I want to be the Michael Jordan of craziness. In 2010, we decided to collaborate on a film about mental illness. Right, so uh, what's today? Today is... Wednesday, December 29th, 2010. Great. So, uh, Gabriel, Hmm. why are we doing this movie? I guess we're just trying to get at some kind of truth. Uh, 20 years earlier, Gabriel had been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Your son is suffering from a thought disorder. He's paranoid. He has ideas of reference. He thinks everything is a signal for him. And he was rolling around on the living room floor with the large coat and the hat, saying, Mom, Mom, there's something inside me. I don't know what it is. As he started to kind of process what this meant, he started interviewing everyone he knew about what mental illness is. Uh, This is interview number one. Uh, What do you think about mental illness, mental health, and our society? What's your name, man? My name's Randy. Nice to meet you, Randy. Nice to meet you as well. Where I would eat cornflakes and I would feel like it would feel like electricity. What do I think of mental health? I'm in favor of it. I like mental health. When we started working together, we thought it would be interesting to examine mental illness both from the inside and from the outside. People have been going mad at least for 3,000 years. Madness, I think, can sometimes mean extra insight, Mm -hmm. visionary, visionary. touched by angels. Does mental illness really exist? Is it a label that society has created to limit certain types of behavior? And what does it really mean to live inside of those labels? The naming of mental disorders has an interesting history. And I think it's helpful often to not have words for it. We aren't mentally ill, we are psychiatrically challenged. It's bad enough having the illness, but when you've got the label... What's the word when when somebody's not paranoid, but... uh, Neurotic? Neurotic. It's that fear of being cast out of society that's worse than virtually anything I can imagine. Hmm? You seem calm and relaxed. That's because I'm on tranquilizer. As far back as I can remember, I've always seen things that weren't there, and... I've always been a daydreamer. And then on June 24th, 2012, Gabriel left the project. He didn't leave a note. He left writing, he left words, he left line drawings and songs and images, stories. He left, you know, his thoughts. I guess, you know, he left clues. I wrote a screenplay basically telling my whole life story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young man. He left home at the age of 18 to study film. When he got there, he met a lovely young lady and they fell in love. Most of the ideas came from dreaming, lucid dreaming while I was awake. And he believed he saw a vision of God and it looked like him. I felt like I just had to start paying attention to all of these different pieces. An anomaly arose in the vortex, an anomaly called life, and life is governed by rules. If you had a zoom lens and you zoomed into, you dove into the heart, the very center of the grid, you'd find a square. He knew that The whole project of squaring the circle is a symptom. No real mathematician believes you can do it anymore. My old friend, Anthony Gormley, who had met Gabe and knew about uh, his work, uh, Anthony offered to realize this idea that Gabe had of an infinite cube. Well, I think he was very, very aware of the idea of the grid as a, I guess, as a matrix through which you could see all things, this infinite cube of Gabriel Mitchell's. I never, I never understood it while he was alive, but now it's like, the grid is is mine. Like I, I feel like I need to kind of figure it out. 
And as we know, people are malleable and plastic and they can change. And they are changing. They're always changing. Even, even beyond the grave, they're changing. There's, I mean, that's, that's part of life is that it's, it's, it's constantly moving. Hearing, trying to see him, trying to find him, but I do feel like he's in there. Right? 